Hello and welcome to my 30 minute morning yoga flow routine. If you have time, I'd recommend you first practice my yoga breathing video by clicking on the link above or in the description. As with all yoga practice, it's important to always listen to how your body feels before practicing and only do what feels comfortable. Remember to pause or stop at any time that you need to. Also, please remember to subscribe for free to receive updates of every time I upload a video. In a comfortable position, we'll take a breath in. As you exhale, lower your chin to your chest. Now as you inhale, we'll circle the head in one direction. And on your exhale, complete the circle, lowering your head down. Inhaling again, raising your head up. And exhale, gently lower. So going as fast or as slow as your own natural breath. One more in this direction, inhaling, circling the head up. And on the end of this exhale now, we'll inhale and change direction. So inhaling, coming up. And exhaling as you're lowering. Inhale again, coming up. Trying to keep the torso nice and still. Exhale, gently lowering, keeping the shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. One last time in this direction, inhaling, coming up. And on the end of this exhale, just resting your head in its normal position. And then we'll relax the shoulders up and down and back a few times. Small circles. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Now when you're ready, we'll come onto our hands and knees. So support the outside of the knees, draw the legs in. And come onto our hands and knees in table position. So the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips, the knees slightly apart. And as you inhale, lower the abdomen, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, draw the abdomen in and up and round the upper back. Inhale again, lowering the abdomen, looking up to where you can see. And exhale, draw the abdomen in and up and round the upper back. Last time, inhale, lowering the abdomen, looking up. And exhale, gently round. Now we'll inhale into a neutral position in the center and exhale. Next breath in, we'll straighten the left leg, pushing away the heel. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee, draw the knee towards the chin. And we'll inhale, straighten the leg, pushing away the heel. Exhale, draw the knee in, really round the upper back. And inhale, straighten. Last time, we'll exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, straighten. And then we'll exhale, gently lower the knee onto the ground. We'll do the same on the other side. So inhale, now straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, rounding the back, drawing it to the chin. Inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, gently around. One more, inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, draw the knee to the chin. We'll inhale, straighten. And we'll exhale, gently lower the knee onto the mat. We'll tuck under the toes and bring the hips onto the heels, checking that the little toe is facing forward. We'll interlace the fingers and start to make figure eights of the wrist, just relaxing and warming up the wrists. Nice slow breathing in and out through the nose, and then we'll change direction. We'll shake out the hands, untuck the toes, and once more come to sit on the heels. We'll inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Well, exhale, when you're ready, lower the right hand onto the outside of the left knee. Inhale, stretch the hand up to the ceiling and the other hand lower, either on the floor or towards the floor behind you if you can't touch the floor, looking over your shoulder. Nice, slow breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Now on your next breath in, we'll raise both hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, now lower your left hand on the outside of your right knee the right hand on the floor behind the back and gently look behind you over your right shoulder, pausing here, nice, slow, natural breaths. 
Now inhale, raise the arms up to the center. Now we'll exhale, lower the hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Now we'll gently lower the hands down, one more tuck under the toes, and we'll come in to a closed squat. So you can either have your hands on the floor, or you can bring your hands in a prayer in front of the heart. And just pause here, inhaling and exhaling. As you inhale, stretch the arms and legs, stretch up to the ceiling. And exhale, gently come into a forward fold. We'll cross the arms and open the legs, bend the knees and gently rock from side to side. So tucking under the chin, having a gentle stretch on the back of the neck. Just observing where you feel this stretch. We'll change the arms of the other elbows on top just to have balance in the body. And we'll bend and straighten the legs just to encourage the back of the legs around the hips and the lower back to soften and to relax. So nice, slow breathing. To come out of this posture, first we'll release the arms, bend the knees, tuck the chin under. As you inhale, come all the way up to standing, nice curled spine. Last thing to come up is your head. And we'll roll the shoulders down the back for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, you're going to walk to the top of the mat to come in some variations of the sun salutation. So the big toe to touch, a little gap between the heel, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Take a breath in and raise the arms up overhead. Now we'll exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, looking up, nice flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, take your right foot back and then your left straight into plank. Inhale, exhale, come all the way down onto the mat, untucking the toes. We'll inhale into a little cobra and exhale very gently lower. We'll do this two more times. So inhale a little bit higher only if it feels comfortable on the back. Exhale gently lower. Last time, inhale coming to whichever height feels comfortable, listening to your own body and exhale. Now we'll inhale, tuck under the toes and push up into downward facing dog. You can come onto your knees to start with if this feels more comfortable. Bending one leg and the other, gently warming up the legs. Really encourage the chest towards the thighs, towards the knees. And encouraging the heels towards the ground. Nice, slow breathing. And then we'll pause in our downward facing dog for a moment. We'll inhale, raise the right leg up, step the foot forward. And then the left, inhale to a flat spine, and exhale forward fold. Inhale strong legs, raise your arms overhead, and we'll exhale back into mountain. And we'll do the same on the other side. So when you're ready, inhale raising the arms up, we'll exhale come into our forward fold. Inhale looking up, nice flat back. Exhale bend your knees, take your left foot back this time. And then your right straight to plank or take a breath in, exhale halfway and then all the way down to the mat, untucking the toes. This time we'll bring the arms by the side of the body. Inhale, gently lift up nice and low to start with and exhale lower, so only lifting the upper body. Inhale, gently coming up a bit higher if it feels comfortable. Exhale, lower. Now last time, inhale, lift into whichever height feels comfortable and exhale, gently lower. Tucking under the toes, bring the arms by the side of the body, and we'll push up to downward facing dog. So this time raising and lowering the heels, and also bending and straightening both legs together. Really encourage the chest towards the knees. This really stretches around the shoulders and upper back. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, just pausing just for a moment. Now we'll inhale, lift the left leg up, Step the foot forward and then the right. Exhaling, inhale to a flat spine and exhale forward fold. Inhale, strong legs, raise your chest, arms above your head and exhale back into mountain. So variation now of sun salutation B. On your next breath in, we'll bend the knees and raise the arms to chair. And we'll exhale, bring the hands behind the back interlacing the fingers. Inhale, lift your chest chin, looking up. Now we'll exhale, come into a forward fold, lifting the hands up, but keeping the knees slightly bent just for a moment. Encouraging the hands up and over, but really listening to your shoulders. To come out of the posture, re-bend the knees, inhale, come up back to chair. Exhale, lower the hands down. We'll step back with the right leg, 
lowering the knee onto the ground. Inhale, lift your left hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, gently lower. Inhale, lift your right hand up. And exhale, gently lower. Inhale, step back. And then we'll exhale, lower your chest, chin, slide along the mat. And we'll inhale to a low cobra. And then tucking under the toes, we'll exhale to downward facing dog. Again, we'll pause just for a moment. Raising and lowering the heels and encouraging the chest towards the legs. So really try and stretch and relax the legs in all sorts of different ways. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. We'll inhale, raise the right leg up, step the foot forward, the back heel on the ground, and we'll inhale first to warrior one. Just pause here, find a nice comfortable position, or we'll take a breath in. And as you exhale now, twisting to the left, We'll bring the arms out in line with the shoulders into warrior two. Have a look at both hands that they're roughly in line with the shoulders if you can. Relaxing the shoulders down the back. Now on your next breath in, we'll bring your hands onto your hips, straighten both legs and bring the feet so the toes are slightly pointing out to come into goddess posture. So the elbows roughly in line with the shoulders, hands roughly in line with the elbows, just pausing here, nice slow breathing, nice strengthening posture, opening the hips. Now we'll inhale, straighten the legs, and exhale, turn out the toes, inhale, sweep the hands up to the ceiling, and we'll exhale, come into warrior two on the other side, so now bending the left leg, just pausing here, having a look, the hands are roughly the same height. Take a breath in, and exhale. Inhale, raise the arms up back into warrior one, turning the hips to the short side of the mat, pausing, keep breathing. One more breath in, exhale, lower the hands down, lift up the heel and step back into plank. Inhale, exhale, halfway lower, then all the way down to the ground. Inhale into a cobra and exhale into downward facing dog. And again, we'll pause here for a few moments. Really check that you're spreading the fingers, opening the hands, nice slow breathing. Now we'll inhale, raise the left leg in the air, step the foot forward, the right heel on the ground, and we'll inhale the arms into warrior one to do the same to finish in the other direction. We'll exhale when you're ready, coming into warrior two, twisting to the right, checking that the hands are roughly in line with the shoulders. Inhaling the arms up overhead, Exhale, adjust the feet to come into goddess, so bringing the hands onto the hips, bending the knees. And then when you're ready, bring your hands into goddess arms, so elbows roughly in line with the shoulders, hands in line with the elbows. Nice, slow breathing. On your next breath in, we'll bring the hands onto the hips, straighten the legs, adjust the feet. We'll inhale, sweep the hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, coming into warrior two. Pausing for a moment, keep breathing. And then we'll inhale, sweep the hands up to the ceiling, adjusting the hips to point towards the short side of the mat to warrior one. And then we'll exhale, lower the hands down to the floor, lift up the heel and step back into plank. Inhale, exhale halfway and then all the way down, untucking the toes, we'll inhale into a cobra and exhale into downward facing dog. So just pausing again here, maybe raising and lowering the heels, but keep encouraging the chest towards the knees, really stretching around the shoulders, around the back of the legs, around the feet, around the toes. Nice, slow breathing. To come out of this posture, we'll inhale, raise the right leg up, step the foot forward, and then the left, exhaling. Inhale to a flat spine, and exhale forward, forward. Inhale, re-bend the knees and raise the arms to chair. And we'll exhale back into mountain. So just pausing here and we'll do the same, relaxing the shoulders down the back. We'll do slightly different on the other side. So almost the same, but with some slight variations. So when you're ready, we'll inhale, bend the knees and raise the arms back into chair. And we'll exhale, bring the hands behind the back, this time the awkward thumb on top, so the other way around. Inhale, lifting chest and chin to the ceiling, and exhale, coming to a forward fold and lifting the hands up and over, wherever feels comfortable. Nice, slow breaths. 
Well, inhale when you're ready. Rebend the knees, raising the chest, coming the up, lifting the arms back up to chair. Exhale into a forward fold, stepping the left leg back, lowering the knee down. Inhale, lift the right hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, gently lower. Inhale, lift the left hand up. And exhale, gently lower. Inhale, step the right knee back. On your exhale, lower your chest and chin. Slide along the mat. And inhale into a low cobra. And exhale, tuck under the toes to come up to a downward facing dog. Pausing here, nice slow breaths. Now on your next breath in, raise the left leg up to the ceiling. Step the foot forward, the right heel on the ground. And inhale the arms once more to warrior one. Just pause for a moment. Exhale, bring the hands onto the hips, straighten your front leg. Inhale the spine nice and tall and exhale, come into an awkward forward fold. Remember you can keep the hands on the hips. You can interlace the fingers above the knee, below the knee, or you can rest your hands on the floor only if it feels comfortable. Remember you can have the knee slightly bent if it feels more comfortable. Round the back. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms back up to the ceiling, or you can bring your hands onto the hips. Straightening the leg, pivot to the side to come into triangle. So the arms are in line with the shoulders. We're going to draw the hips when you're ready towards the right. Stretch the hands towards the left and lowering the left as you raise the right hand. Just pausing here, remembering looking to wherever feels comfortable with your neck. If up to the ceiling, you may be able to see your thumb and drawing back your right shoulder. Well, inhale when you're ready, come back up. Exhale, bring the hands onto the hips. Or inhale, sweep the hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, turning your right foot out to coming to triangle onto the other side. So gently lowering down when you're ready. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Nice, slow breaths. Now looking to just where it feels comfortable. Inhale, come all the way up. Well, exhale. Bring your hands onto your hips, turn the hips are the parallel with the short side of the mat. Inhale the spine nice and tall, and we'll exhale once more. Come into a forward fold, either the hands resting on the hips, above the knee, below the knee, or on the floor, wherever feels comfortable. Adjusting the feet if you need to. So rounding the back, just pausing here. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose, just observing where you feel this stretch. To come out of this posture when you're ready, we'll inhale, we bend the front knee, Spirit, sweep the hands up to the ceiling, well exhale, lower the hands down, lift up the heel and step back into plank. Inhale, exhale halfway, then all the way down, well inhale into a cobra, and we'll exhale when you're ready into downward facing dog, so tucking under the toes and gently coming up when you're ready, walking out the legs, just for a moment. To come out of this posture, we'll inhale, lift the right leg up, step the foot forward, back heel on the ground, and we'll inhale the arms to warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands onto the hips, straighten the left leg, inhale the spine nice and tall, and exhale, we'll come into a forward fold, pausing here, resting on the thigh, the calf, or on the floor. So we're going to do all the same movements to again finish where we started. So it's nice, slow breathing. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. To come out of the posture, we'll inhale, bend the knee, stretch up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your hands onto your hips, straighten the leg, pivot towards the side to come into triangle. So the hands when you're ready in line with the shoulders. This time we're going to do it slightly different. We'll bring the hands onto the hips. So we'll inhale, draw the hips to the right. We'll stretch the left hand up to the ceiling and as you exhale stretch away from you and then gently lower down to the floor as you inhale your right hand up overhead and really draw the right shoulder back gently twisting the torso up towards the ceiling inhale and exhaling through the nose on your next breath in we'll gently come all the way up using the strength of the body and then we'll exhale bring the hands onto the hips turn the feet so they're parallel inhale sweep the arms up overhead and we'll exhale, come into a wide forward fold. So just for one or two breaths here. So allowing the back to round. Nice, slow breathing. To come out of this posture, we'll inhale, gently bend the knees, round the back, slowly come up. Last thing to come up is your head. 
pivoting now the right foot out. We'll come to triangle on the other side. So the hands on the hips, draw the hips towards the left. Let the inhale, stretch the right hand up. Exhale, stretch away from you as you lower down. And then we'll inhale, lift the left hand up, pointing the fingertips towards the ceiling. And pausing here, observing the difference from this side to the other side. To come out of the posture when you're ready, we'll inhale, slowly come all the way up. And we'll exhale, gently twist towards the short side of the mat, bring your hands onto your hips, inhale the spine nice and tall and exhale once more, come into an awkward wide forward fold, you can bring the hands on the hips, hands above the knee, below the knee or again on the thigh, adjusting the back foot if you need to. Rounding the back, just pausing here, this is the last time in this posture. Nice slow breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Well inhale, re-bend the knee, sweep the hands up towards the ceiling, Exhale, lower the hands down, lift up the heel and step back into plank. Inhale, exhale, half lower, then all the way down. Inhale into a cobra, and we'll exhale, tuck under the toes and come up into our downward facing dog. Walking out the heels, you can maybe this time rock the hips from side to side, just observe how this affects the stretch around the lower back and the hips. Really always think of your downward facing dog as a back massage. Inhale, lift the left leg up or step the foot forward and then the right, exhaling. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, raise the arms up and we'll exhale in mountain posture. So now to link to coming back down onto the mat, we'll bring the hands in a prayer in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, we'll lower into a closed squat. So you're going to bend the knees, lift the heels you can touch the floor if you need to, to help with your balance or just pause here. Now, depending on how your balance is today, you can either take a moment and come down to sitting in your own time. If you'd like to work a bit deeper, when you're ready, we'll bring the hands roughly in line with the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, push the weight down and forward on your hands, very slowly leaning forward and gently come down to sit it nice and controlled and then sliding slightly back. You may need to practice this a few times if this is the first time you've practiced it. We'll come into cobbler's posture. So bringing the soles of the feet together, the spine nice and tall. So sliding the feet as close as feels comfortable. Opening the knees out, we'll gently butterfly the knees. So gently wobbling the knees up and down a couple of times just to relax the inside of the legs. And then when you're ready, sit, sitting up nice and tall, we'll take a breath in and as you exhale, gently coming into a forward fold, allowing the back to round and lowering the head wherever feels comfortable. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So observing where you feel this posture, do you feel it on the inside of the legs, somewhere in the back? So we're just having a gentle stretch. To come out of this posture, we'll inhale, tuck under the chin, round the back, slowly come up. Last thing is your head. We're gonna do one more time the same position, but this time we're gonna use the outside of the elbows on the inside of the thighs. So inhale once more, exhale very subtly using the elbows to gently come down, encouraging the knees down towards the ground. Remember, this is a posture we don't often practice in our daily lives. So really going nice and slowly, observing the difference with using the elbows and not using the elbows. Nice, slow breathing. Observing which of the two you prefer today. Remembering each day is different. So come out of the posture, tuck under the chin, inhale, come all the way up nice and slowly. Last thing is your head. We'll gently support the outside of the knees, draw the legs in, slide the feet away, and then we'll rock the knees from side to side just to relax the legs, relax the hips. Inhaling and exhaling just naturally through the breath. We'll straighten the legs and gently walk out the knees just to relax the legs. Circling the feet a few times in each direction just to relax the feet and the ankles. And then we'll prepare for lowering down. So if you're not at the edge of the mat, gently shuffling forward towards the edge of the mat. Sitting up nice and tall, hands roughly in line with the shoulders, or take a breath in. As you exhale, subtly lean forward. Inhale to the centre, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, subtly lean back. 
Inhale again, come to the centre, sitting up. Exhale, see if you can go a bit further this time. Inhale into the centre, sitting up. And exhale, see if you can go a little bit further back, only if it feels comfortable. Inhale to the centre, sitting up. Exhale, going further. Inhale, coming into the centre, sitting up. Really listen to your own body. And exhale, very gently going back just to where you feel comfortable. Inhale into the centre, sitting up. Exhale again, stretching forward. Inhale when you're ready, coming into the centre. And exhale when you're ready, going back again, just to where it feels comfortable. Inhale, coming into the centre. We'll exhale, gently lower the hands down. Relax the shoulders. And then we'll bend the right knee, bring the sole of the foot across the left, and we'll hug the knee with the left hand, the right hand, but on the floor behind the back, sitting up nice and tall. We'll take a breath in. And as you exhale, we'll gently twist to look behind you. So nice, slow breathing. So really try and relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, relax the face in this position. Really massage the back with a nice gentle twist. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. As you inhale, gently come through to the center, uncross the leg, straighten that leg, and then we'll bend the left leg and bring the sole of the foot flat on the floor across the right. Hug with the right hand, left hand on the floor behind the back. So as always, sitting up first to start with, Inhale, and on your exhale, gently twist to look over now your left shoulder, just observing any difference from this side of the body to the other, observing how your breath is from one side to the other. As you inhale, gently come to the center, we'll uncross the leg when you're ready, nice and slowly. And then gently make your way down, all the way onto the back. We'll draw the knees into the chest, give them a good hug. Now massaging the back, rocking from side to side. And then it's always nice to end your practice with little circles. So drawing your hands onto your knees, circling your knees in one direction. This also massages the back, the hips, stimulates the digestion, relaxes the abdominal organs, or circle in the other direction. So always going as big or as small as feels comfortable. So as anything in yoga, always listening to your own body. We'll give the knees one final squeeze. And we'll lift the left hand leg up to the ceiling nice and straight. We'll gently lower it all the way down onto the mat. And then when you're ready, straighten the right leg and lowering it all, way, all the way down. If you prefer, you can straighten both legs and lower them down. To find a comfortable position, we'll slide the feet either the distance of the hips or the edges of the mat, whatever feels comfortable. The hands just by the side of the body, curling the palms up towards the ceiling, encouraging the shoulders down the back. And if you haven't already, taking a moment and closing your eyes. So just resting here. Imagine the whole of the body is becoming soft, heavy, completely relaxed. Any thoughts that come into your mind are very gently passing by. Any control you may have had over the breath. Allow it now to follow its natural rhythm. And just feel all of the muscles starting to soften and to deeply relax, relaxing the toes, the ankles, the legs, the hips. Feel the muscles in the lower, the middle and the upper back soften and relax. Relaxing down the arms, the hands, relaxing the neck, the jaw, the muscles around the eyes, and the forehead. The whole of the body is soft and relaxed. And 
Now on the next breath in, start to gently wiggle your fingers and toes and exhaling. As you inhale again, we'll slide the feet together and slide the arms up overhead and have a full body stretch, pointing the toes and then pushing away the heels. And have a deep breath in and as you exhale, gently bring the knees into the chest, give them one final hug. Once more, gently rocking from side to side, giving your back one last massage and then rock completely onto your right hand side. Just pause for a moment, then pressing the left hand on the floor in front of the face will push into the ground and come up and find a comfortable sitting position. So if you need to, you can sit on some blocks or a pillow. Just take a moment to observe how you're feeling. Observing how is your physical body, how is your breath, and how is your mind. So remembering the more you practice anything, the easier and more natural it becomes. So I'd recommend practicing this once a week or as often as you are able. We'll bring the hands when you're ready in front of the heart. We'll take a breath in and as you exhale, we'll finish with Namaste. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like if you have enjoyed it. And please remember to subscribe to see future videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye.